adding two digit numbers using groups of tens. Friends, today in this video, with the help of groups of 10, we will learn addition of two digit numbers. Look, Bunty and Bubbly are drawing pictures. Hmm, looks like they are going to the park to play. Hey, what's this? The green crayon and the yellow crayon are looking at the pictures made by Bunty and Bubbly. Let us hear what they are talking about. Look, Greeny, Bunty and Bubbly have drawn paper made flower pots with 10 flowers each. And yes, there are some loose flowers too. Yellow, can you tell me? In Bunty and Bubbly's drawing, how many flowers are there in total? Let us count them. Bunty's drawing paper has 1, 2, 3 and 4 flower pots of 10 flowers each. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 loose flowers. In these, there are four tens that are forty and seven ones that are seven. Forty and seven in total, there are forty-seven flowers. Bubbly's drawing paper has one, two, three, four and five flower pots of ten flowers each and two loose ones. So here, there are five tens that are fifty. And two ones that are two, fifty and two in total, fifty-two flowers. To find out the total number of flowers, we will write their number in the table of tens and ones. Yes, now we will first add the number in the ones box. We have to add seven ones and two ones. The count after 7 is 8 and 9. That is 7 ones plus 2 ones equal 9 ones. Now in the box of 10s, 4 added to 5 count after 4. 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 is what we get. Hence there are 9 tens and 9 ones. So, Bunty and Bubbly's drawing have a total of 99 flowers. Hey, Yellow, look at this picture of butterflies. Here on Bunty's drawing paper, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Here is a group of 10. And another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 butterflies. Here Bunty has made 1 tens that are 10 and 6 ones that are 6. So 10 plus 6 are 16 butterflies. And Bubbly's drawing paper has 2 groups of 10s that are 20 and 2 ones that are 2. So, 20 plus 2 are 22 butterflies. So, how many total butterflies are here? Let's count them. To add 16 and 20, let us write these numbers in the table of 10s and 1s. Let us add the numbers in the 1s box first. 6 1s have to be added to 2 1s. Count after 6, 7 and 8. So, 6 ones plus 2 ones is 8 ones. Let's write 8 in the ones box. Now, in the box of 10s, adding 1 and 2 will make 3. We will write 3 in the box of 10s. 
So, we have three tens that are 30 and eight ones that are eight. Here there are a total of 38 butterflies. Greeny looks like somebody is coming. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Okay then. Today from the conversation between yellow and greeny, we learn adding two digit numbers using groups of tens. This means adding the numbers. In the next video, we will learn with the help of Examples, the addition of two-digit numbers. Friends, today in this video, we will learn in the addition of two-digit numbers with the help of group of tens Using examples from yellow and green's conversation. Greeny, look, this is a tense frame. There are red magnets on the frame. Now can you tell me how many total magnets are there in both the groups of tense frame? In the first group of the tense frame, adding 10 and 10 makes 20. 20 plus 3 equals 23 magnets. In the next group of tens frame, adding 10 and 10 makes 20. And adding 2 more will be equal to 22 magnets. Now to add the numbers 23 and 22, we have to write them in the table of tens and ones. In the box of ones, we will add the numbers 3 and 2. 3 ones plus 2 ones will equal 5 ones. Come to the box of tens. 2 tens plus 2 tens will make 4 tens. So here there are 4 tens and 5 ones. Therefore, in both the groups of the tens frame, there are 45 magnets altogether. Well done, Greeny. Hey, Yellow, what is this? That is an abacus. Let us look at another example. Look, in abacus A, the box of tens has three beads and the box of ones has only one bead. So here, a back is A has three tens and one ones. So adding three tens, that are 30, and one ones, that is one, will be equal to 31. Hey, perfect answer, Greeny. Look, here in a back is B, the tens box has one, two, three, four, and five beads. And the One's box has 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 beads. So, a back as B has 5 tens and 5 ones. So, here 5 tens that are 50 added to 5 ones that are 5 will make the total number as 55. Now, tell me. If the numbers in a back is A and a back is B are added, what will be the answer? To add both the numbers on the abacus, we will write them in the table of tens and ones. We will add the numbers in the ones box first that are 1 and 5. 1 ones added to 5 ones will make 6 ones. Now in the box of tens, adding three tens and five tens, count after three, four, five, six, seven and eight tens is what we get. So here we have eight tens and six ones. So a back is A and a back is B added together will give us the number 86.
Oh, wow! Well done, Greeny. Thank you, Yellow. Look, friends. Today, along with Yellow and Greeny, with the help of examples, we learned easily the addition of two-digit numbers. using the group of tens you can also while playing with your friends learn how to add numbers easily got it in the next video we will learn some more interesting examples friends today we will play an interesting game involving the addition of two digit numbers greeny look this is a number block come the number made out of these blocks 17 and 51 have to be added you can add these numbers by writing them in the table of ones and tens here For seventeen, in the box of tens, write seven, and in the box of ones, write one. For fifty-one, in the tens box, write one, and in the one box, we will write five. Hey, Greeny, not like this. Let me explain. We have to add seventeen and fifty-one. So seventeen, that is one tens and seven ones, along with fifty one, that are five tens and one ones. Now can you tell me what will seventeen and fifty one add up to? First of all, we will add the numbers in the box of ones. So seven ones plus one ones will equal eight ones. So we will write eight in the ones place. Now we will add the numbers in the box of tens. So one ten added to five tens will equal six tens. Now we will write six in the tens place. This way, seventeen and fifty one added up to six tens and eight ones. That are a total of sixty-eight. Now you got it right, Greeny. Well done, friends. Today we learn to play a game involving the addition of two-digit numbers. In the next video, we will use groups of tens to learn and add two-digit numbers by using the carryover method. Carry over sums using groups of tens. Friends, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here is a group of ten bananas. Friends, today in this video through Bunty and Bubbly's conversation. We will learn addition using carry over method with the help of groups of tens. Bubbly, we had great fun playing in the garden with marbles today. We won so many marbles, isn't it? Yes, brother. We had great fun when we went out to play. I had fifteen marbles with me, and you had eight marbles. So how many marbles did we have earlier? Come on, let's add fifteen and eight. I have one tens and five ones. You have fifteen marbles. So we will write one in the box of tens and five in the box of ones. Yes, and you had eight marbles. 
So we will write eight in the box of ones. Now in the box of ones, when we add five ones and eight ones, then after five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen marbles. Hey, but how will we write thirteen in the box of ones? Bubbly, look. Here, out of five ones and eight ones, we can make a group of ten because the numbers add up to thirteen. That is one tens and three ones. Now, from thirteen, we will take one tens and write in the box of tens, write on top in small letters. That is, we will carry over one and write three in the ones place. Yes. So in the box of tens, when we add one tens and another one tens, we will get two tens. That is twenty. This means we earlier had two tens and three ones. That is twenty-three marbles. Yes. Look, Bubbly. Now after winning more marbles, I have a total of forty-six marbles. And I have. Twenty-eight marbles. So, how many marbles do we have together right now? Come on, let us add forty-six and twenty-eight. I have four tens and six ones, forty-six marbles. So we will write four in the box of tens and six in the box of ones. Yes, and I have two tens. And eight ones, so we will write two in the box of tens and eight in the box of ones. Now in the box of ones, to add six ones and eight ones, after six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen marbles, what we get? Yes, now fourteen. That is one tens and four ones. So from fourteen, we will take one tens and in the box of tens, write it on the top in small letters, and write four ones in the box of ones. Now in the box of tens, adding one tens and four tens, we get five tens, and adding five tens and two tens will be seven tens. That is seventy. So now. We have a total of seven tens and four ones. That is seventy-four marbles. Oh wow, brother Bunty, you have easily taught me how to add using carryover method. <laughs> you are right, Bubbly. Today we learn addition using carryover method with the help of. Group of tens. You must also practice the carryover method to add numbers with all your friends. In the next video, we will see some more examples of addition with the carryover method using group of tens. Hello friends today in this video with the help of some examples we will learn addition with the carry forward method using group of tens look bubbly there are 40 and 7 47 pink buttons and 20 and 4 24 red buttons so tell me how many buttons are there in total to find that out I will first count the loose buttons. Here we add seven buttons to four loose buttons and get eleven buttons. Out of these eleven buttons, if I make a group of ten buttons and keep them on this plate, then I will be left with one loose button. Now here there are groups of ten buttons, each in one, two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven plates that make 70 buttons and add one loose button to these will make 71 buttons. Well done, Bubbly. Can you place 47 and 24 buttons in the table of ones and tens and then add them up? Yes, 47 buttons that are 4 tens and 7 ones. So we will write 4 in the box of tens and 7 in the box of ones. And 24 buttons that are 2 tens and 4 ones. So we will write 2 in the box of tens and 4 in the box of ones. Now in the box of ones, when 7 ones are added to 4 ones, we count after 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. 11 which means there are 1 10 and 1 ones. Now write 1 in the ones place and 1 10 in the box of tens. Write on top in small letters, thus carry over 1 10. Now in the box of tens, four tens added to two tens will give us six tens. Now six tens added to the carry over one ten will be a total of seven tens. Yes, so this way there are a total of seven tens and one ones, which means there are seventy one buttons. So forty seven added to twenty four will be seventy one. Oh, wow! Well done! Come on, let us see another example. Look, Bubbly, I have 14 cupcakes. And you have 16 cupcakes. So, how many cupcakes do we have in all? 14, which means there is 1 10 and 4 1's cupcakes. And for 16, there is 1 10 and 6 1's cupcakes. If you give me four of your cupcakes, then you will be left with one ten cupcakes. And then you will be left with two tens that are twenty cupcakes. So in this way, your tens and my twenty will add up to three tens that are thirty cupcakes in total. Oh wow! Well done, Bubbly. Yes. So today. In this video, with the help of some examples, we learn how to add using groups of tens with the carryover method. In the next video, we will learn to play an interesting game related to the addition of two digit numbers. Hello friends, today in this video, with the help of some examples, we will learn addition with the carryover method using group of tens. Look Bubbly, what a fun train I have. Hey, but why is 44 written on the engine of your train? Because the sum of all the numbers written on the compartment of the train equals to 44. How? Let me explain. In this train, first of all, 25 and 19 have been added. So now we will place these numbers in the box of 10s and 1s and add them. Adding 5 1s and 9 1s will result in 14. Out of 14, we will place 4 in the 1's place and carry over 1 in the 10's place. Now in the box of 10's, the carryover number 1 when added to 2 will be 3 and adding 3 and 1 will make 4. Yes, so 4 10's and 4 1's will be the number 44. Now, will the other numbers of this train, 26 and 18, also add up to 44? Yes. Come on, let us add 26, which is 2 tens and 6 ones, to 
to 18 which is 110 and 8 ones. Adding 6 ones and 8 ones will result in 14. 14 that has 110 and 4 ones. Yes, so here 4 tens and 4 ones will add up to 44. Now what will be the sum of 27 and 17? Come on, let us take 27 that is 2 tens and 7 ones and add the 17 that is 1 tens and 7 ones. 7 ones when added to 7 ones will equal to 14. 14 that means 1 tens and 4 ones. So here also adding 4 tens and 4 ones result in 44 only. Come on bubbly. Now you tell me what is the sum of 28 and 16. 28 that are 2 tens and 8 ones and 16 that are 1 ten and 6 ones. Now we will add 8 ones to 6 ones. So count after 8 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Yes. So here also there are 14 which means 1 tens and 4 ones. Yes. So 1, 2, 3, 4 tens and 4 ones that are a total of 44. Yes. So in this way in my train too all the numbers add up to 44. Yes. This game is such a fun. Friends, today we learn to play a game related to the addition of two digit numbers using carryover. You can also play this game by adding different numbers and get similar numbers. In the next video, we will learn how to borrow and subtract two digit numbers. Addition and Subtraction Sums Friends, today in this video, we will learn the usage of addition and subtraction in our daily life with the help of Chichi and Choo Choo. Hey Choo Choo, where are you going with this fan? Chee Chee, my fan is not working. I am going to get it repaired. Choo Choo, let's go. I will also come with you. Okay, let's go. Hey brother, take a look. This fan is not working. Oh Choo Choo brother, you are too much. Now take a new fan. The new fan is for 78 rupees only. Chi I have only 58 rupees as of now. How can I take a new fan from only this much money? Don't worry, Choo Choo. I will talk to the fan seller. Brother, how many rupees would you give for this old fan? Hmm, I will give 32 rupees for this old fan. Look, Choo Choo, you have 58 rupees now. And you will get 32 rupees for this old fan. So total, how many rupees would you have? To know that, we would have to do the addition of 58 and 32 after putting them in the box of 110s. Yes, so now if we will add numbers 8 and 2 of the box of 1s unit, then after 8, there will be... 9 and 10. There are 0 ones and 1 tens in 10. So we will put 0 in the place of ones and we will carry over 1 in the place of tens. 
Now, if we will add five and three of the box of tens, then after five, it will be six, seven, eight tens. And if we will add one carry over to eight tens, it will be nine tens. So it will be nine tens after adding thirty two to fifty eight. Yes, nine tens means ninety rupees. Oh yes. If I sell old fan, then I will have a total of ninety rupees. So if I will give ninety rupees to the fan seller and buy a new fan for seventy eight, how many rupees would have I left? Let's go. Now put ninety and seventy eight in the box of ones, tens, and subtract seventy eight from ninety. First of all. We will do the subtraction of numbers of box of ones. Here we cannot subtract eight from zero, so we will borrow one ten from the nine tens of the box of tens. Hmm. So we will write ten ones in place of zero in the box of ones. Now, if we will subtract eight ones from ten ones, then it will be one and two ones left. Now look here. If we will subtract seven tens from eight tens of the box of tens, then one ten would be left. Yes. So in this way, if we will subtract seventy eight from ninety, then one ten and two ones means twelve rupees would be the balance amount. Oh wow, Choo Choo! Now you would buy a new fan and also save twelve rupees. <laughs> you are right, Chichi. So, Chuchu, buy the new fan now. Okay, Chichi. Brother, take these fifty-eight rupees and this old fan. Take this, Chuchu, brother. Your new fan, and the balance twelve rupees. Oh, brother, does this new fan work properly? Yes. Look here. Hmm. Nice, nice cold air. Thank you, brother. Choo choo. Give a party of the new fan from the remaining twelve rupees. Okay, Chi Chi. Bye, Choo Choo. Friends, today we learned the usage of addition and subtraction in our daily life. In the next video. We will learn about some interesting examples related to addition and subtraction. Friends, in this video, we will see that Chi Chi has come to her friend Chu Chu's house to attend a party. for the purchase of a new fan so today we will learn addition and subtraction while listening to their conversation hello chuchu come chichi oh wow chuchu your new fan is giving out cold air now give a party from the remaining 12 rupees after buying this new fan chichi What could we buy from twelve rupees? Look, I have eighty rupees with me now. Chichi, tell me whatever you want to eat. I will call uncle at the hotel and order a pizza for you and a burger for me. Choo choo. Pizza costs forty five rupees and burger costs twenty nine rupees. So what will be the total cost of both? Come on. Let's put forty-five and twenty-nine in the box of ones, tens, and do their addition. We have to add the numbers of the box of ones first. Here, if we will add five ones to the bigger number nine, after nine it will be ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. There are four ones and one tens in fourteen. So we will write four in the place of ones 
and carry over one in the place of tens at the top. Now, if we will add two tens in the bigger number, four tens in the box of tens, it will be six tens. And if we will add one ten carry over in six tens, then it will be seven tens. So in this way, if we will add twenty nine rupees to forty five rupees, it will be seven tens, and four ones means seventy four rupees. So the total price of one pizza. And one burger will be seventy four rupees. Choo choo, you have eighty rupees. If you will spend seventy four rupees from them, total how many rupees would you be left with? Come on, let's do the subtraction of seventy four from eighty to know this. First of all, we will do subtraction of numbers of the box of ones. Here we cannot subtract four from zero, so we will borrow one ten from eight tens. Now it will be ten ones in place of zero in the box of ones and seven tens in the place of eight tens in the box of tens. Now if we will subtract four ones from ten ones, it will be one, two, three, four, five, and six ones left. And if we will subtract seven tens from seven tens, it will be zero left in the box of tens. Yes. So in this way, if we will subtract seventy four rupees from eighty rupees, it will be six ones. Means six rupees will be left. Now, let me call the uncle at the hotel. Oh, Choo Choo, stop! We should not eat junk food at all. Yes. Stop! I will bring halwa made by my mother. Take this halwa. My mother has made it. Hmm. I had so much fun, Choo Choo. Okay, I will go now. Bye, Chee Chee. Friends, today in this video, we learned addition and subtraction with the help of. Interesting conversation between Chee Chee and Choo Choo. In the next video, we will understand some interesting things related to addition and subtraction. Hey, Choo Choo, what are you doing? Come, Chee Chee. Let's both of us eat popcorn. Oh wow, popcorn! Choo choo. Let us find out who can eat more popcorn in one minute. Okay, let's eat. One, two, three, start. Look, Chi Chi, I ate forty popcorns, and I ate twenty-eight popcorns. Oh, Gajanan Uncle, you, Chichi, which of you two ate more popcorn? Uncle, Choo Choo ate the most popcorn in one minute. That is forty, and I could eat only twenty-eight popcorn. Wow, Choo Choo! Now, tell me how many more popcorn did you eat than Chichi? Hmm. To know about that, we will have to do the addition of forty and twenty-eight. Oh no, Choo Choo! Not addition, but you will have to do subtraction. Why subtraction? Yes, Uncle. Please teach us. Okay, I will teach you. So, children, today we will learn some interesting things related to the addition and subtraction. Of two-digit numbers. Choo choo, how many popcorns did you eat in one minute? I ate forty popcorns in one minute. And Chee Chee, you? I ate twenty-eight popcorns. If I will ask that total, how many popcorns did Choo Choo and Chee Chee eat? Then to know that, we will have to do the addition of forty. 
and twenty-eight. But how would we know that we have to do addition? When to do addition? Listen carefully. When we have to count things of two groups, or we have to add things of one group to the things of the another group, then we have to do the addition. Or if you are asked total how many, then you have to do the addition. And when to do subtraction? When some of the objects of a group are removed, eaten, blown away, lost, etc., then we have to do subtraction. And when comparing things in two groups. How many less or how many more to know all that we also have to do subtraction. Yes. So how many popcorns did I eat more than Chichi to know that? I will subtract two ten and eight ones means twenty eight from four ten means forty. So it will be one ten and two ones. Means twelve. Yes. So Choo Choo, you ate twelve more popcorns than Chee Chee. Did you see Chee Chee? I ate twelve more popcorns than you. I won. Children, now you would have understood when to do addition and when to do subtraction. Yes, Uncle. When we have to know the total number of things, we have to do addition. And when we have to know how many things left from the total things, we have to do the subtraction. Well done, children. Now you both play, and I will go. Bye, Bye Uncle. Uncle. Friends, today we learn some interesting things. related to addition and subtraction of two digit numbers in the next video we will learn about tracing of things in our surroundings